The defense everybody is using in Madden 25, mid blitz zero out of the nickel 2 4 double mug in the Carolina Panthers defensive playbook. If you guys want to get my full ebook on this, it is in our school community. We actually just dropped a couple different versions of it for you guys because there are slight differences depending on which one you're running. This 2 4 one uh, actually has some really cool stuff we can do. So just going to break down kind of some basic tips for running this defense. And if you want to check out my full ebook on it, the link is in the description below. Now, I recommend using the right side defensive end when running this defense. I just think that it makes everything work better, regardless of if the formation was flipped or not. I think this is better for trips tied in. I think it's better for bunch. Like if this was bunch flipped, I think this still is pretty favorable against this. And you're just going to get the best pressure. So as far as pressure does go, what I like to do here, uh, pretty simple, is we are essentially going to slant our line inside. We're going to zone out both the defensive ends. And then you can actually, if you want to send three, you can zone out the defensive tackle uh, on one of the sides. And sometimes you can actually get, as you see right there, we get a nice little three-man loop right through the, right the A-gap. So you have that version of it. Uh, you have just a simple slant inside and zone the DNs. This is kind of what most people run. Now, if I'm running the man version, I'm shading outside. I think that shade outside man's pretty decent. And the four man version, pretty much always, you're gonna get somebody, you know, a gapping coming through the middle if they send five out. The four man is actually my favorite to use. Uh, typically, if they are blocking a running back, so like if they do block a running back, a lot of times you'll kind of get some pinballing that can result in somebody coming free. And then the five-man version of the pressure, way I like to run the five-man version is I like to just simply, you know, basically use her with this guy, and we're just going to play our cover zero look. And the reason I like this five-man is if they send five out, you're pretty much always going to get, of course I say that I don't get it, uh, you're pretty much always going to get the linebacker coming through the A-gap. So we'll show this. Show this again. Well, you'll see here. And I'm not crashing at all with this one. I like to just basically use the stock blitz angles. And the five man is going to be difficult for us today. Let's, um, <laughs> okay, that's cool. I'll show you one other, I'll show you another way you can run the five man. So another way you could run the five man is just slanting your line to the right. Uh, and the purpose of this slant to the right is just to kind of open up this A gap a little bit more. A lot of times, uh, one of these linebackers will come through the A-gap. We're just not getting it for some reason. But this is what I like to do for the Sin 5. The purpose of the Sin 5 is primarily if they block there. And you can also contain. Um, but the purpose of the Sin 5 is if they're sending 5 out, you see there we get it. We're able to get really good pressure if they're not blocking a running back, which is then going to cause them uh, to block a running back. And then our Sin 6. So the way that I like to send 6 here is we're just going to slant the D-line inside, and I'm actually going to blitz this slot corner. And the reason for that is because I believe that using this right side, right side defensive end is the best way to use her here. And what you're going to see is if they block a running back, a lot of times this will result in some crazy pressure uh, disengaging up the middle. The send six, you can do a lot of different, like another send six would be to just use her, the slot corner, right in here. And then just basically slant inside, send six this way. You could do that. And as you're seeing, like we're getting disengages up the middle pretty much every single time. So that's another way to run the defense. But for my money, I love to just blitz this corner um, and send six this way. And the reason why I think this is superior is because this has potential to come in against Max Pro. You see here's a Max Pro. And we're trying to come in on that right side. So... I really like this defense a lot. This is a 2-4 double mug. I think as, as it stands right now, this is probably the most effective defense in this game. Obviously, that's all subject to change. Uh, as we get better players, as we get faster players into the game, as we just learn more about the game and the way blitzing logic works. But the way that I've kind of – I would explain blitzing logic to somebody – that wants to know what it, what it is, is essentially a slant inside is going to create a lot of really interesting things for you blitzing wise. And oftentimes you're seeing here, we're going to get this nice disengage. If you guys want to check out my full two, four double mug defensive ebook, it's going to be in our school community, school.com slash Cody Bauer. That's where you get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks. So if you were looking to take your Madden game to the next level, 
Make sure you join the school community. The link to sign up is in the description below.